From Entertainment Weekly, Vanilla Ice is throwing a 4th of July weekend concert deep in the heart of Pandemic Hotspot, Texas. The Iceman will come at this Friday at a concert venue in Austin, where all the bars are otherwise closed due to COVID-19. The concert is titled the Independence Day Throwback Beach Party, and it's happening due to a legal loophole, the Austin Chronicle pointed out. The venue, Emerald Point Bar and Grill, is located on the shores of Lake Travis. It's technically a restaurant, even though it also has a large capacity outdoor general admission concert space, so fans don't have to collaborate or listen to current recommended coronavirus guidelines that seek to eliminate large crowds. I can't wait to get back to this, the Ice Ice Baby singer posted on Instagram, along with some of his previous packed concert footage. The 90s were the best. We didn't have coronavirus or cell phones or computers. Computers? Anyways. We had Five O's, Blockbuster, Beavis and Butthead, Wayne's World, Chris Tucker, and Jackie Chan. Mortal Kombat is still better than Fortnite. The last of the great decades, the singer added uh, in another post on Thursday. Music makes me happy. I think we all could use some happiness with all this corona mess happening. Also on Thursday, the Travis County Health Department warned people to stay away from Vanilla Ice. Not in general, but this show specifically with spokesperson Jen Samp taking a dig at Vanilla Ice's 90s nostalgia by telling TMZ, attending a concert is not wise regardless of who is performing at any gathering right now. The best way to be nostalgic is by protecting your parents and grandparents and staying home. The concert is selling 2,500 tickets, which is roughly half of the venue's potential capacity. Tickets range from $25 for general admission to $300 for VIP seating. The latter is sold out. When you buy a ticket, it comes with this warning. Please note that any interaction with the general public poses an elevated risk of being exposed to COVID-19 and we cannot guarantee that you will, be expo you will not be exposed while in attendance at the event. Let me get the obligatory fuck vanilla ice for trying to continue to ride the coattails of his only popular song for 30 years to the point where he will willingly risk the lives of a lot of his fans or the risk the lives of the families and friends of a lot of his fans just so they could go fucking see him perform Ice Ice Baby and whatever the fuck else he has to perform because that's literally the only song the general public knows that's by him. But here's something else I want to focus on. 25 ticket, 2,500 tickets, I should say, are being sold, and the VIP tickets are already sold out. Like, who the fuck is still going to Vanilla Ice concerts in the year 2020? Like, I get it, nostalgia and all that shit, but he's a one-hit wonder. He had one hit 30 years ago, and the only fucking good thing about that one hit is the stolen, I mean, sampled instrumental from Under Pressure by Queen, like... Like, like, how how much do you like this one song to the point where 30 years later you'll go see Vanilla Ice in concert, hear him rap this fucking one song that he had on the charts 30 years ago? Like, <laughs> like I, I think anyone who would go to a concert in these times is next level dumb, but I think it's especially stupid if you're going to go risk your, life or, uh, risk your life or risk the lives of those around you to see Vanilla fucking Ice. Again, the guy who had one hit, one, one hit that wasn't even fucking good, 30 years ago. You'll have plenty of more opportunities in the future to see Vanilla Ice. He performs out the ass, year in, year out, he headlines cruises and all that shit. It's not like this is some special comeback concert after years of not performing. And after this one special concert, he's not going to perform again for either a very long time or for the rest of his life. No, it's nothing like that. Vanilla Ice doing a concert is not anything special at all he does it all the time and you'll have plenty more opportunities in the future to fucking see him live you just don't have to see him at this moment in the middle uh, in the middle of a pandemic especially in austin fucking texas where currently uh, coronavirus cases are surging fucking surging is seeing vanilla ice really that important to you and to vanilla ice it, it's performing your one hit in front of a in front of 2500 people who at, who could very well catch the coronavirus and die or spread it to family members or friends who are either elderly or immunocompromised or anything of the sort is it really worth it performing ice ice baby in front of all these people in the midst of a pandemic especially in a pandemic hotspot like Austin Texas like really think about it is listening to ice ice baby live that important right now and the fact that people are so fucking stupid to the point where the vip tickets are 
already sold out. Oh my god, we're going to see Vanilla Ice up close. The guy who hasn't had a hit in fucking 30 years. Jesus Christ, fucking Gen Xers. Because these are really the only people who are going to see Vanilla Ice. You really think people my age are going to really go out of their way in the middle of a pandemic to see Vanilla Ice live? Really? I, I don't know. Maybe I could be mistaken. Maybe I'm underestimating the popularity of Vanilla Ice among Zoomers. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, fuck Vanilla Ice and fuck the people going to this concert. Should be shut the fuck down, but whatever. I mean, people will be stupid. And unfortunately, many people don't take this, uh, don't, don't take COVID-19 seriously, and I guess Vanilla Ice is among one of those people who don't take coronavirus seriously. And by the way, Vanilla Ice, Robert Van Winkle, I'm sure the only reason you think the 90s were the last good decade is because it's the decade where you had that brief moment of popularity, and then people forgot about you. I, I'm sure that's why you look back at the 90s so fondly, it's not because things were so much better back then, it's because... Your popularity was at its peak, and that's when you were making the most money, I'm sure. Just saying. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye. Hey! <laughs> um, I normally don't do these posts, video production, edits, or voiceovers, whatever the fuck you want to call this, but uh, apparently Vanilla Ice cancelled his concert. He said this on Twitter. I'm not going. I listen to my fans. I hear all you people out there. I didn't know the numbers were so crazy in Austin. We were hoping it would be a lot better by the 4th of July. We booked this concert a long time ago. Basically, just want to stay safe. We do take it serious. We were just hoping for a good time, but it turned into a big focal point on me, and it's not about that. Anyway, happy 4th of July, and by New Year's, hopefully this corona crap will have a cure. So, I guess Vanilla has enough humanity to cancel a concert in the midst of a pandemic, especially in a place like Austin, Texas, where cases are surging, so props to him for that, but also at the same time, fuck him. Like, how did you not know that Austin, Texas was a hot spot for the coronavirus? Like, do you not keep up with the news? Do you not keep up with the stats? And, like... He also makes this all about himself. Oh, this became a big focal point about me. Fuck you. People are worried about the people who would attend this concert and the family members of the people who would attend this concert or the friends of the people who would attend this concert. You know, gathering in a large group during these times is not ideal at all. In fact, it's actually very dangerous and possibly life-threatening. So people didn't want people to die in mass or people of... The family members of the people in this concert possibly dying in mass because, oh, seeing Vanilla Ice is so important. Like, dude, whatever. He, he mostly just cares about himself. Oh, people are mad at me, so I have to cancel my concert. But still, at the same time, I care about people's safety. Yeah, yeah, sure, dude. Okay. So, yeah, I'm still gonna upload this video because it's fun ripping into Vanilla Ice because he's such a fucking joke. And plus, his little apology, or whatever you want to call that, was so goddamn pathetic. Oh, people are mad at me. Fuck you. Anyway, for real this time. That's all I have to say. Bye-bye.